Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about um, mass. Um, we're, we're working on physical properties of matter. Um, mass is one of the properties that uh, matter has. So we have to be able to find out which one has more mass or less mass. Um, okay, so that's our purpose for today. Uh, we're going to be talking about that. So what we have here today is we're going to need a balance scale. Okay, so let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have this balance scale right here. This is a double pan balance. So as you can see, it's semi is balanced. Okay, this line right here tells us if it is balanced, and then we can adjust it by using this little section right here. And okay, that seems balanced. Okay, so. What this balance scale does is that if you have two items that are the same, the same mass, like for example, this one's 25 grams and this one's 25 grams, they should balance. Now, if you have a 25 grams and a 10 gram, so you have, you see the difference, okay? It would definitely be more and there is definitely more mass in this one than there is on the other one. All right, so what is mass? Mass is actually, mass is actually um, how much stuff, how much stuff is inside an object? That's basically what mass is. How much stuff can you fit inside that object? And that, that gives it the mass. So I'll give you an example. I have two of the same they're literally about the same size of balls. They're both rubber balls. They're both the bouncing balls that you get from the store, from the dollar store or from the little machine. And you, they're the same, okay? The only difference is that one of these balls has more stuff inside, okay, than the other. And how do we know which one has the most stuff? So what you can do is you compare them by using the balance scale, okay? This is the... So we're gonna use the balance scale to compare them. And we'll go from there. Oh, man, I need to work on this camera. There we go. All right, so which one do you predict has the most stuff inside? They're both the same size, okay? The same shape. <clears throat> the only thing is that one has the most stuff. Let's see. All right, so this one went down. Because this one went down, we know that this one has more stuff inside. Therefore, it has more mass. Its mass is greater. Okay, very good. So that's just a quick de uh, demonstration on what is mass, okay? What is mass and how does that work? All right, so let me put this to the side and let's work with the items that we have here today. So I do have a tile. Okay, I have a steel ball, which I'm gonna put a little gram here so that it doesn't roll away. I have a rock. Okay, you guys know rocks are pretty heavy. And then finally, a wooden block. Those are my four items, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and write them down into my panel. So I want you to do the same thing, guys. Go ahead and drop it in. You're going to do a box. And you're splitting it, splitting it into four. Okay? Split them into four, and then you draw each item in there. So I'm going to draw the tile, followed by the steel ball, and then the rock. Remember, we're not artists, so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then followed by the wooden block, okay? All right, so let me, let me label them. It's gonna be backwards. <clears throat> but it is a tile. We have a steel ball. We have a rock. 
Then we have the wooden box. Alright, so I know you see it backwards, but I call those names out. Just just do your best to write, write them in, okay? Alright, um, which one of those four, which happens to be the ones that are down here, which one of these four do you guys think has the most mass? Which one has the most mass? Is it the tile? Is it the steel ball? Is it the rock? Or is it the wooden block? Okay, based on what you can see, based on what you can observe, which one do you think has the most mass? All right, which one do you think, guys? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them in order based on what you think. So you're gonna do a prediction. You're going to write down which one is number one. Which one has the most mass out of all four of them? So you're going to predict. Number one, that's the one that has the most mass. Number two is the second one to have the most mass. And of course, if you go to the end, number four is the one that has the least mass. Okay. So I'm going to predict that the rock, this is my prediction. But then you do your prediction, okay? So I'm, this is my prediction. Rock will be number one, followed by a steel ball, okay? Then the tile, and then the wooden block will be last, okay? That's my prediction. What does your prediction look like? Okay? All right. What we're going to do next is we're going to test them out. We're going to use a batting scale and we're going to test them out. We're going to versus them each other. Okay. What does that mean versus each other? Versus each other means that we're going to see um, Okay. We're going to versus each one. So for example, the tile is going to go against the steel ball and to see which one has the most mass. All right, so let's do that. Which one do you predict has the most mass? All right, very good. So yes, the steel ball does have more mass. It does go down, as you can see. Okay. Then let's do the rock versus the wooden block. Which one do you predict? All right, so the rock actually has more mass. The rock has more mass than the block, so then it does go down. All right, so the two winners are gonna go against each other, okay? In this case, the two winners were the, was the steel ball and the rock was the two winners. So let's see which one of those are going to win. Whoever wins out of these two is basically going to be the one that has the most mass. Okay, let's test it out. Very good. So the, the steel ball is the one that has the most mass out of all four of them. Why is that? Why is this? Why did the steel win? So the steel beat this tile and the steel beat the rock, but the steel hasn't beat the wood yet. Why, how do we know that the, the steel ball has more mass than the wood? How, can you tell me why? We haven't even versus them yet, but we know we should know that it has more mass. Okay, very good. Exactly. So the, the rock beat the wooden block, right? Because this one lost to the rock and then the rock lost to the steel, we know that the steel, because it beats the rock, it should also beat the wooden block. Very good, guys. Good observations there, good observations there. All right, so we can put them in order. So I'm gonna put the steel ball first, followed by, oh, wait, 
I'm confused. Is it the rock or the tile that goes first? Have, have they verses yet? What do we need to do to find out which one has the most mats? We don't know. Has this one beat the rock? No. Has the rock beat the tile? No. They haven't verses yet. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to test it out. Okay, so let's test it out to see who gets third and four, uh, second and third place. Let's see. Which one do you predict? Which one do you predict? All right. All right, and as you can see, the rock goes down. So that means that the rock has the most mass compared to the tile. Okay, now we can put our second place and then our third place is going to be the tile. So steel ball is first. The sorry, the rock is next, and then the tile, and then followed by the uh, wooden block. Okay, let's put that into our journals. Okay. So the steel ball was first. Steel ball was first. That means it has the most mass. We're gonna find out how many grams is it, okay? The rock was second, okay? The rock is second. We're also gonna find out how many grams. Then the tile is third. And finally, fourth is going to be the wooden block. And that is, we're gonna find out how many grams that one has, okay? All right, so how do we do that? How do we find out how many grams each one has? So what we need to do is we need to use our measurements this one right here measures 25 this one measures 10 the blue one measures 5 and the each individual um yellow one in measures one okay so let's start off with this the one that has the most mass so the one that has the most mass was the steel ball Okay, we're going to put it in the center. Hopefully it can stay in the center. All right, so it does stay there. Now I'm going to add the biggest one, which is 25. That's not enough, so I need to add another 25. That's still not enough, so I need to add a 10. Still not enough, another 10. Okay, so two 25s and two 10s. How much does that give me? So 25 plus 25 plus 10 plus 10. That's 50, 60, 70. So 70 is more than the steel ball. So that means that the steel ball has to weigh less, has to have less mass. So let's go ahead and remove one of the tens and we're gonna switch it off to a five, okay? When we switch it off to a five, it seems that it's balanced. Now, look at the little line right here in the middle. It is balanced. So now our answer is actually 25 plus 25, that's 50, plus 10, 60, plus 5, 65. So our steel ball measures 65 grams, okay? All right, 65 grams. So. If the steel ball is 65 grams, the rock has to be more or less than 65 grams. Very good. It has to be less than 65 grams. Okay, let's test it out. All right, so 65 grams is too much for this rock. So I'm gonna remove the little ones one at a time. 
and then the big one. All right, notice that that is, that's not enough. So I'm gonna add a 10 now, instead of the 25. If I add a 25, that would be too much. So I'm gonna add a 10, okay? And it still needs one more, so I'm gonna do another 10. And that seems to be about balance, guys. It's balancing now, so it's kind of balanced. So 25 plus 10 plus 10. Very good. 45 grams. Okay, 45 grams. So the steel ball had 60, 70, had 70 grams. Okay. The, the rock has 45. Very good. Let's move on to the next one. 45 grams. Now, is the tile going to be more or less than 45 grams? Very good. It has to be less. Okay. So let me, I'm going to do this a little bit quicker for time purposes. And then these individual ones count as one. All right, and that seems to be balanced. So 25 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. Very good. That gives us 32. So again, 32 is less than 45, which was the rock. Okay. And finally, our wooden block is less, which we said the block was the one that had the least. So that is true. So then let's remove. And even I have to remove the big one, the 25 one, because it's still not enough. So I'm gonna add a 10, I'm gonna add another 10, and then that's too much. I'm gonna add a five, and then I'm gonna add individual ones. And that seems to do it. We have 10, five, one, 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 one. So 10 plus five, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. How much does that give me? Very good, 19, all right? So we happen to have them all in order from greatest to least. Not only did we find the actual mass, but we found out that <clears throat> just by comparing them from one to another, we can sort them in order, okay? Okay, that's basically what you have to do when you are working with properties of matter, okay? When you work with properties of matter and you're working with mass, all they want you to do is to separate them into more or less mass, okay? You may have to put them in order from the greatest mass to least mass, okay? Sometimes, sometimes you must work with them so to see which one is the one that has the most mass. When you're able to do that, then you can put them in order and you know that you are doing the right thing, okay? All right, if you happen to have a balance beam, then definitely use that so you can get the exact amount of mass and then you're able to work with that. All right, guys, so that's everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to watch. Remember, please comment on these videos. Um, they, they're, they're helpful for us, okay? It helps me know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong, okay? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.